Last weekend, I spent a few days traveling around the beautiful Taidong County. This is an area I've been meaning to travel to ever since I moved to Taiwan. And I have to say, I was not disappointed. Home base was the Chili Hotel and Resort. This is a quiet hotel nestled in the mountains in the Luya Highlands. This is the perfect place to wind down after a long week. With its world-class rooms, great food, and an intricate system of hot, warm, and cold pools, all fed by the region's underground hot springs. I could have stayed here all weekend, but I did want to get out and explore. The next day, we headed up the east coast to the San Shan Tai Bridge. I'd only ever seen it in pictures, and it was even more impressive up close. If you are ever in this area, make sure to add this on your list of places to see. Next, we drove inland to the Qishang Township. This area is famous for growing rice, and I'm not exaggerating when I say, it is one of the most beautiful places I have ever visited. Make sure to stop at the old train station and grab one of their traditional lunch boxes. After lunch, we headed to the Brown Boulevard. This place is incredible. With towering mountain ranges completely surrounding you and emerald green rice paddies growing literally as far as the eye can see. There's even an old tree which was made popular by an Eva Air commercial. It was because of this ad that this area got put on the map as one of the most popular tourist destinations on the East Coast. Basically, this whole region is an Instagrammer's dream come true. I thought this would be the perfect spot to set up my camera and share a few thoughts I've had recently on the current state of the world. So, here we go. Hello everybody, my name is Wes Davies. I am out here in the beautiful Taidong County. It is so peaceful and relaxing out here and it certainly feels nice to get out of the city for a couple days leaving behind all that hustle and bustle, having some time to think, and of course, exploring this gorgeous region of Taiwan. One of the best things about this island is that even though it seems small, it would take a lifetime to explore all that it had to offer. With the central mountain range on one side, the Pacific Ocean on the other, and surrounded by this fresh, clean air, it's really given me some time to think. And the conclusion that I'm starting to come to is, there seems to be a divide that is forming, a stark difference, a chasm, a line drawn in the sand. On one side, we have the old days, our old life, those happy times when the world was open, when it felt like we were free to do anything we wanted. Back then, our concerns were things like where to eat dinner or whether your favorite sports team would make the playoffs this year, or should I consider moving to a new apartment, or switching jobs. Actually, I don't think we realized exactly how lucky we were, because now on the other side of that line, the world, as you know, is a totally different place. Swiftly and without warning, the paradigm shifted into something new. We all know what it's like now, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. We've spoken about it at length, and for many of us, the current state of the world is probably all we think about. What I want to focus on now is what comes next. Where do we go from here? What can we do and what should we do once we're out of all of this? Once things return to normal. Actually, that word normal, that's sort of where I want to start. Because I might argue, what we called normal wasn't actually so. It was what we were used to. It's what we grew up with. It's what we were told to do. It was a forward momentum, like an old steam engine, running along the tracks, unconcerned with its destination, only wanting to move forward. But that forward momentum was suddenly halted. That old train hit a brick wall and was stopped in its tracks. What I'm starting to realize is that from this tragedy, from all this heartache and change and uncertainty, there might actually be an opportunity here. A chance for us to do better, to mold a better world. Perhaps that's the silver lining here. What I'm worried about is, after all this, if we're not careful, that we'll just return to normal. So my question is, why not make a new normal? We've already seen the headlines, a few positive articles emerging from all this chaos, like this one, that due to Italy's lockdown, 
the canals of Venice have never been cleaner. Residents were shocked when they saw crystal clear water, where before it was polluted and murky. Or this one, residents from northern India reporting that for the first time in generations, they could see the towering Himalayan mountains far in the distance, over 200 kilometers away. India has long since been one of the hardest hit regions in the world in terms of air pollution. And now, almost like a miracle, the skies are clear once more, and people are breathing a sigh of relief. Wouldn't it be a shame for those skies to return to normal? And finally, I want to talk about family. Countless times lately, I've heard from my friends and family back home that despite what's happening, despite all the lockdowns and physical distancing, even though it's a scary time for everyone, which it is for sure, that one of the shining lights that has come out of all of this is that for the first time in ages, they've actually been able to spend almost uninterrupted quality time with each other, with their families. Time that they never normally would have been able to spend together. Young children no longer having to ask their dads why they come home so late from work every night. Moms no longer need to worry whether the evening rush hour traffic will make them late to pick their kids up from daycare. Of course, I'm not saying that we need to get rid of work or schools or any of those institutions that we're used to. What I am saying is that maybe we need to take this time to step back, to look a little more closely at the system that we've accepted as natural. There are lots of great stories coming from this tough time. Employees are proving that they can work from home without a drop in efficiency. So why not create a rotating work schedule, three days in the office and two days from home, to allow people to spend more time together as a family. Kids are also proving that they're willing to learn from home. They even seem to thrive when they have more creative time with their parents. It makes them happier and more productive. There are other advantages to people working from home as well. Fish stocks and wildlife populations are replenishing. The air hasn't been this clean in decades. Nobody is sitting in traffic for hours and hours, burning gasoline and idling away on the highway during their commutes. And yet, despite all the changes that we've had to make, the world is still functioning. Maybe this is proof that we were far too reliant on an ever-expanding capitalist economic regime, with often too little regard for the environment, people's health, or the future of our planet. I know times are tough, and obviously I want this crisis to end as soon as possible, before more lives are lost. All I'm saying is that what if we came out of this with a new perspective? What if this is our generation's chance to change things around and create a fresh start for ourselves? We've already shown that we're resilient enough to make sweeping changes. So let's use these lessons that we're learning right now to build a better tomorrow and a brighter future for our kids. Let's fight this thing together and then emerge even stronger than we ever were before. I think that if we want to, we can change the world for the better. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here and start exploring this beautiful part of Taiwan. So please stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy, everyone. Don't forget to check my last video, the top three ways that Taiwan is becoming a leader of eco-friendly farming in Asia. The response has been great so far. So thank you everybody who left your wonderful comments. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.